What's up, everybody? My name is Big John. Welcome back to the final week of training camp. I hope you came to play today because we're learning how to grow stronger. And remember, not muscle strong on the outside, but strong on the inside. So no matter what's thrown at us each day, no matter how hard the choices get at school or at home or with our friends, we can stand strong because we'll know what God wants us to do. But first, let's play a warm up game. This is how you play Optical Confusion. In just a moment, you'll see seemingly two identical images on the screen. Look closer and you'll find there are five differences between the two pictures. Your task is to find the five differences in each set of pictures before the timer runs out. Spot all five and consider yourself a winner because you are. Get ready. Round one begins now. was fun for me. I hope it was for you. Did you spot all five? Be sure to blink because you'll need your eyes peeled as we begin round two now. Well done. I hope you spotted the differences. Thanks for playing Optical Confusion. Guys, it's Lex. Guess what just happened? My friend Maya called me and she's so mad at her brother Vinny because he took her iPad charger without telling her and now her battery's dead and she needs it for school. He's done this before and she is so mad. But the problem is, Vinny didn't take it. I did. By accident. I was at her house yesterday and my phone was running low, so I borrowed it, right? No big deal. But when I left, I forgot it wasn't mine and I just put it in my backpack. But I didn't tell her that on the phone. I just, I let her think that it was Vinny. And I know God always says to tell the truth, but I really just don't want Maya to be mad at me. Lex, that's a tough spot, and I've been there. When you know what God wants you to do, but it's gonna be hard and you don't really want to do it. But that's sort of like football or soccer. It'd be like training and practicing and doing all the drills every day, staying in shape, working with your team, and then when it's game day, choosing not to play. Can you imagine doing all that practice and then deciding, nah, I'm not gonna play. You wouldn't do that because it's not enough to just train to play football. Someday, you gotta actually play football. And the same's true with God. Here's what he says. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. God's saying the same thing, that it's not enough to just read your Bible. You gotta actually do what it says. You gotta live it out. Otherwise, the Bible just becomes a storybook we read at night. And that's not what it is. The Bible is full of advice and wisdom about how to live and who God is and how to love like Jesus. Literally full of secrets for how you can live the best life. But you can't just read it. You have to do it. That's how you actually grow stronger. You gotta put it all together. Everything we've learned this month. You gotta read God's word. You gotta memorize it. You gotta talk to God. And then you gotta get out there and play. You've trained, now go live it out. It's like with Lex. She knows God says, do not lie to each other, but now she's gotta do it. She's gotta call Maya, even though it's hard, and tell her the truth. 
because God knows that lying to our friends could hurt them and we don't want to hurt them. God knows what's best. This is how our faith gets stronger. Let's pray and talk to God right now. God, thank you for giving us the Bible, your word, so that we know how to grow strong and how you want us to live. Help us to do what you say, even when it's hard, because your way is the best way. Thank you for loving us no matter what. Amen. Your word is a lamp for my feet. A light on my path. A lamp from my feet, a light on my path. Psalm 119, 105. So you're saying it's not enough to just know what God says. You gotta actually do it. Which means I gotta call Maya and tell her the truth. Oh, it's so hard. But God knows what's best, right? So to just do it. Okay, here goes. But guys, you should do something too. This week, when you know something is right, just do it. When your brother is being annoying, be kind. When you feel like whining, be patient. When you gotta tell the truth, tell the truth. Oh, hey Maya.